Hi, my name is Jeff Doherty. I'm from Angels Guidance Center, and today I'm going to try and give you a little bit of information on how to mulch, uh, what to look for when you're buying mulch, and some of the tricks of the trade. Um, mulching has become very popular. The two main reasons why you would mulch would be to keep the moisture in the soil next to the plants and to keep weeds from coming up. And with that known, then the next procedure would be, okay, what color do I pick or what variety do I pick? About 15 or 20 years ago, the craze that started this all was the hemlock tree. And we have a couple of those in the background, um, but they're not visibly uh, present to the camera at this point. But basically, hemlock is a soft wood similar to pine. And on the inside of the bark of the hemlock tree, it has a burgundy red color. That burgundy red color, when it's uh, ground down, has a real nice uh, brown, orangey look to it. And so that's why they call it red hemlock. There are a number of varieties of bark mulch that are natural and some that are artificially colored. The hemlock mix that's behind us right here is a bark mulch that is artificially colored. Um, but one of the things that you need to be aware of is, you know, how much do I get? Everyone always says, gee, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. If you can measure the square feet of the beds that you're using, you will be able to tell how much mulch you'll need. Behind me in this tractor bucket is a one yard, a one cubic yard bucket. One cubic yard at three inches will cover 110 square feet or a 10 by 11 area. With that in mind, you could go through and kind of measure off the bed on, on either side of your house and that's going to tell you if you have a five foot deep bed that's 30 feet wide, then that's 150 square feet. If you have two of those, that's 300 square feet. But based on that formula that we know about, if you had 300 square feet that you'd have to cover, then you'd need approximately three cubic yards. This one cubic yard bucket that I have with the mulch in it, I always recommend to people that they use a pitchfork. You can use a snow shovel. I see that done a lot. I think it's just because it's available. But if the benefit to the pitchfork is that you can pick up a big scoop of bark mulch and you can sift it and get it to the right thickness that you want. You wouldn't think that a pitchfork would hold that much, but when you start to shake it out and get that sifted out on the ground, you get a nice even covering of that bark mulch. And I've laid down my tape measure to measure 10 feet and basically I'm going to go down and put enough mulch down so that I can do about a foot wide and 10 feet long until I get to the very end that I'll be able to use that bucket in 110 square feet. Knowing that now we can estimate what we're going to need to use in our yard. If you have a circular pattern around a tree, basically if that tree is three feet wide, then you're going to use that formula that you learned in school about pi. So three feet times 3.14, and you know the rest. So that's about nine square feet. If we know how much we're going to need, then we'll be able to estimate that and we'll be able to call the different places that carry mulch and give them a rough idea of how much mulch we're going to need in cubic yards. And that's generally how that's done. If you end up going to the store um, to buy bag mulch because you want to save a little bit of money or you want to be able to take the bags, cut them open and just do certain small areas, that's fine, but be aware that a bag of mulch, whether it's two cubic feet or three cubic feet, 
even if it sounds like it's a low price of $399 or $499, when you multiply that out, a two cubic foot bag, you would need 14 bags to make that one cubic yard. Or if you had a three cubic foot bag, then you would need nine of those to make a cubic yard. And given that formula that you know how many bags or how many cubic feet is in a bag, you could be paying up to $50 for a cubic yard of mulch. All the mulches that are around me run anywhere from $34, $35 a yard up to $40 a yard. So if you realize that a bag is $5 and you're going to need nine of them, well now you're already over the bulk rate. So do the math, do the homework ahead of time so that you can save yourself the money in the end because lugging nine bags or 18 bags in your car and finding out that you paid more than what you could have had it delivered for, you could end up saving yourself some money. Thank you very much and I hope this has been a helpful segment for you.